Hey everybody, Adam here, So Wizard Podcast. Let's talk more Star Wars. Uh, instead of doing one long information dump on whatever Star Wars is rolling around in my head, I wanted to chop these up into smaller videos. So we're just going to tackle one topic at a time, so you can get through them, get on with your day, and learn something new about Star Wars. Hopefully. So there's some news going by a little ways back. I haven't recorded one of these in a little while. But uh, Daniel Richtman, Reitman maybe, R-I-C-H... Uh, anyway, he is a Hollywood insider who broke a lot of the news of Rise of Skywalker that turned out to be accurate, is also saying that there is a Rey movie in development. It will pick up after Rise of Skywalker, and it will focus on Rey training a new generation of Jedi, if that's what they're going to be called, Force Sensitives, whatever it is, it's probably going to be Jedi picking up where Luke left off, I'm guessing, because she's modeled herself after him. Uh, take this with a grain of salt. It's not 100% confirmed, and we do know that there's not any Star Wars till probably 2023, which is sad, even though they're doing a great job on Disney+, Plus, Mandalorian Season 2 coming in October. Rumors are that Finn and Poe may make appearances, although the focus will be on Rey, but in more recent news, I'm not so sure. It seems like Oscar Isaac wasn't thrilled with his Star Wars experience, uh, and John Boyega has really not been quiet about his disappointment in what they did with his character. I thought they both really had a chance to shine in Rise of Skywalker, but maybe they both felt it was too little too late. Disney has a ton of money, all of the money, so if they really wanted them, I'm sure they could get them. I personally would like to see more of them, but also a standalone movie of Rey training Jedi would be cool. I'd like to see a Poe prequel, but we have that coming out in a novel, Hey, maybe we'll get Rose to walk across the background. We don't know. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to listen to SubWizard Podcast every single week, wherever you get your podcasts. Make sure to go to SubWizardPodcast.com for reviews, recommendations, merchandise, and more. SubWizard Podcast can be found on Patreon, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can support the show and get bonus content. Uh, we love hearing feedback, so drop us a note in the comments or leave us a line on social media. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps us grow our audience, and we have con season coming up, so there will be lots of con coverage coming your way. Thanks.